I was working with the Fairport. We'd already done two records. I'm in the middle of making this one on Half Breaking. And I got a call from Simon Nickel, and he said, we've got a couple of new numbers we'd like you to hear. Can you come down to one of our gigs? Because they were on a tour at the time. I said, well, I looked at the schedule. and said, okay, well, I'll come to Bristol two or three days later. So I drove down to Bristol, went to this ballroom of some kind, and in the middle of the set, they said this, you know, that they'd learned this song from Sandy Denny, who was their singer now. And she used to play British folk songs in the van as they were driving around, or in the dressing room when they were waiting around. And they'd like this song, and they did an arrangement of it. And it was a sailor's life. And I went backstage after I said, yeah, we got to record this. It's fantastic. And then they said to me, we were thinking, what if we got somebody, traditional musician, somebody like Dave Swarbrick to play on it? And I said, oh, if you want Dave Swarbrick, I'll call up Swarbrick. And I said, do you know Swarbrick? And they were really, you know, they'd suddenly discovered this world of English folk music. They knew nothing. They were all oriented towards American folk rock. And they were the classic English kids who didn't like folk music. You know, they didn't dislike, they were more open-minded than most, but they had never taken it seriously. And all of a sudden, just this one tune, they thought, let's do this, we like this tune. And so I called Swarbrick and he came in and he played violin. And this was like a first take, maybe one run through, and then we did this take. Richard and Swarb take swapping solos and it's a it changed the game in English folk music. And I had very little to do with it. I mean, they, I en enabled them and I encouraged them, but it was their idea. And then they had this terrible car accident and the drummer, Martin Lamble, was, was killed. And they felt like we can't do the repertoire that we used to do. And um, we're not going to teach another drummer to do all those songs. We've got to start from scratch. And so they just, and at the same time, that was when Pink, uh, Big Pink came out. And Big Pink astonished everyone. And I think if they had had any idea about going back to America for a repertoire, to have an American repertoire, the band and Big Pink was like, forget about it. You're never going to do it as good as we're doing. And so intimidated by it, that they felt we can't possibly look west for our new repertoire. Hey, here's an idea. Let's do something that's as British as Big Pink is American. Irony, of course, being that most of the band were Canadians, but anyway. Um, and so they plunged into it like a research project, particularly Ashley Hutchings. And he went down to the Cecil Sharp house and he met with A.L. Lloyd and they came up with this record that was a, a, trib a homage to British traditional folk music. And, and I don't think it would have had the impact it had. I mean, they asked Swarbrick to join so it came full circle with that night at Rathbone Place. I was back in bed with Dave Swarbrick, and he still snored. Um, and, um, but, um, but the thing was that I don't think we could have done it, or it would, wouldn't have worked if it hadn't been for Dave Mattix. Because, and even as good as Martin Lamble was in his drum part on on this is great. Martin Lamble was a wannabe jazz guy. He loved jazz and a lot of hi-hat and stuff like that. And he might, it might have been great. It would have been different. But definitely once we lost Martin, if they'd hired a rock drummer, Legion Leaf wouldn't have played out the way it did, I don't think. Because Dave Mattex, his background was dance bands in ballrooms. He played strict tempo dancing. And 
And so his way of hearing that traditional music was as dance music. And if you listen to the drumming on Legion Leaf, I mean, it's extraordinary. It's so different from what any rock drummer would have done. I think that's what makes a huge difference.